guys welcome back to another vlog this might be a little chaotic because so much has been going on that i want to update you guys on so i'm actually getting ready to go to a j-lo event well it's not really j-lo's but she's launching a new perfume and the event in new york city i'm already running a little bit behind because i wanted to get some sleep but yeah let's catch up last few weeks have been actually crazy lately I had an impromptu trip to Puerto Rico. We came back from that and literally like three days later, I left to Florida to surprise my niece for her ninth birthday. I love being out and about, but I also love being at home and just making sure my home environment is like clean and organized. And right now I just feel like everything is chaotic. I have so many PR packages that are just kind of like laying around unorganized. I have things that I purchased that I've been waiting to do a haul on. So I have like, I don't know if you can see, a bunch of like bags of clothes and stuff behind me, a bunch of shoe boxes. Like I cannot wait to have a few days of doing absolutely nothing. That way I can just get a bunch of content. So many hauls coming. I also wanna do a like fall decorate with me. Come get ready with me. There's a bunch of new makeup too I wanna show you guys. So yeah. I feel like it's officially fall. The weather up here feels way more crisp outside. And with that, I have to do several things. First off, I need to edit my wardrobe, put all my summer clothes away. That way, once I finish the hauls that I film, I have room for my fall winter clothes. I also want to just really deep clean and organize and purge things in my home. I like to do that every season because I don't know, it just helps for me not to hold on to clutter. And that way, when I go to decorate, I'm not like adding clutter on top of clutter, you know what I mean? With that, I wanna pull out my fall decor, see what I wanna use this year, see what I want to donate, see what I may need to purchase. I just sprayed some of this Beach Wave texture spray by Kristen S. It smells amazing. Wanting to live in NYC. So growing up, I always said I wanted to live there for at least six months just to get it out of my system. I remember at one point I was actually supposed to go to school in Queens, but I'm so glad I didn't because I truly, I always say this, but I really am an introvert, extrovert for one, meaning like I like to be around people, I love going to events, but then after that I need like maybe like two days of isolation being around nobody. <laughs> and then same thing with like being go, go, go. I love like... I don't know, city vibes and like a really just go, go, go environment. But then I also like my quiet like porch days, just sitting out being a grandma, drinking a cup of coffee, hearing the birds chirp. This is my favorite heat protectant. It's the Rusk Thermal Spray. Anyways, lately with these events, I'm like, ooh, what if I like lived in New York City temporarily? Like, would it be worth it? And then I just snap myself back into reality and I'm like, absolutely not. So convenient, especially now that I've gotten comfortable driving into the city. It's like a two hour drive, which is not bad at all because when I lived in Tampa, I used to drive to Orlando all the time, which is like the same amount of time in the car. And yeah, I got to get all this city vibes and then come back home to my suburban, comfy, cozy home. I mentioned this previously, but so for the longest I dealt with like really bad anxiety and it's funny because I had it my whole life, but literally like I even have videos of saying that I've never dealt with anxiety because I truly didn't know what anxiety was and I had it my whole life that like I didn't realize that it was a problem. I just thought it was who I was and how it was. I had like this like fear of drive throughs up until I was 23. Crazy. And again, it's like... It was just so ingrained in my day-to-day -day life that I didn't realize how bad it was until I was like, this is not normal. Why is my body going into fight or flight mode for situations that are not life or death? So then along with drive throughs this is more just like situational anxiety. I hated parking lots, going to the grocery store feels too busy, which I think might be kind of normal. But yeah, maybe it's like not the most pleasant, but like your heart should not be racing. You shouldn't be sweating. And you shouldn't be like avoiding tasks over such stupid things. And the list can go on and on. Then like when it came to like driving, all the events that I had gotten anxious about in the past, all the scenarios that I was creating in my head never actually happened once I executed and either like did the thing that I was freaking out about or attended the thing that I was freaking out about. 
And so that exact thing happened once I finally drove into the city. It wasn't that bad. I realized that everybody's humans. You just got to take things one step at a time. You can't freak out about X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z hasn't happened yet. Just focus on X. Once you get past X, focus on Y and then focus on Z and invite God in everything. Even the stuff that you think is like so stupid that you think he doesn't care about. Also, 2 Timothy 11:7, 7, my favorite verse ever, for God doesn't give me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. I know that God wouldn't be like, hey, I need you to freak out about the most stupid thing ever. <laughs> the enemy does that to hinder you from like big, amazing opportunities that God might have in store for you. So yeah, I did that, overcame that, I was so impressed. Then social anxiety, Again, I think it's just like always referring to that verse, 2 Timothy eleven seven, 7, and just like taking deep breaths and forcing myself to like just calm down and not freaking out about stuff. Just take things one step at a time. When I'm talking to people, don't like worry about, oh, what do I have to say next to fill this in? Just listen to what they have to say and then respond with like a question or something. But I noticed that if you are too busy about like what to say next, then you're not gonna be listening to what they are actually saying. And then you're just gonna get like all in your head and not be able to have like a conversation that flows. So the fact that I'm even like attending this event in New York City for one, driving by myself, and am able to attend these events with people that I've never met by myself and just forcing myself to just have conversations, make small talk. Sure, some of it will be awkward, some of it won't be, but for the most part, everybody is feeling the same way. Like everybody is human. I'm sure most people have like a slight sense of like conversational anxiety-ish. I feel like even if you're an extrovert and you like talking to people, like conversating is like a dance. You never know exactly how it's gonna go. People can slip up, say the wrong thing. But I think the difference between introverts and extroverts is that extroverts don't dwell on maybe like a stupid, thing that they say or do as much as introverts do. Then another thing that stuck with me is that people will focus more on like their errors and mistakes in conversations than the mistakes you make. So if somebody says something stupid, I'm not like on my drive home just dwelling on that. I'm normally dwelling on the stupid thing that I said. Everybody's their own main character in their story. So I think just remembering that helps me so much. And just remembering that everybody is human and that you can only be inferior to the people that you're talking to or the places that you're at if you allow them to make you feel inferior. So basically, if the idea of something terrifies me, then that means that I need to jump into it because it's only gonna help me grow. But if I'm only saying yes to things that are so in my comfort zone that I do all the time, then I know that I need to like step out because I'm not gonna grow if I'm just doing things that make me super comfy. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll take you guys. You guys will see clips, either vertical footage or horizontal footage at the event. All right, I am ready. I'll show you guys my outfit and all that in better lighting. But look at the chaos that we have here. I cannot wait to get home and just clean my heart away. I did like the Scott Barnes technique. Do you guys remember that video in 2019 that he did with Tati? I kind of mimicked it and then did my own twist. I feel like a celebrity. Like my makeup is just so intact, but it feels like a lot. Like I'm not used to this. This is the outfit and <laughs> my light. So the top is from Fashion Nova. The satin skirt is from Abercrombie and then the shoes are from Zara. I literally had to figure my outfit out last minute last night because nothing that I ordered worked out. My body has been changing so much lately ever since going to the gym that like nothing fits the way it used to. So it's been like a struggle trying to put outfits together, but I'm happy with this. I need to get out the door because I'm like running just on time. Take another 34 minutes to get there. 
Like it literally only takes like an hour, 30 minutes to arrive in New York. But by the time you get to the city, it's like another hour of traffic, which it's fine. I'm about 15 minutes late. Luckily, my parking spot is like super close to the hotel that the event's at. So it's only a three minute walk. So I should be fine. But I also missed an exit, which ended up tagging on like another four minutes. Um, so I would have only been 10 minutes late, but shout out to apple maps for failing me just kidding but so far everything's smooth i always play christmas music once i get into the city just because it keeps me so calm so i always have that going to praise and worship um but i'll see you guys when i get there it was absolutely stunning it was in this garden area in this most stunning hotel i sat with the most amazing girls we were talking having a good time the floral arrangements like i felt like i was at a wedding the fragrance display absolutely stunning it was just such an amazing time i got my goodie bags and then after that we were trying to find a rooftop restaurant that was in this hotel and ended up stumbling across this floor with the most stunning view, the most gorgeous lighting. So of course we had to take some content pictures for Instagram. Hey. And then we ended up walking out to this terrace area. This view is everything. Like comment below if you think I should move to NYC. Oh, it was so pretty. After the event, I was smart enough to leave a pair of sneakers in my car so that I could walk around Soho and shop around. After shopping around, I treated myself to a nice dinner at this beautiful French restaurant, Balthazar. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the vibes were immaculate. I was taking my time. They weren't rushing me out. The service was amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. The thing I love about the city is that nobody cares what you're doing. Literally, nobody's paying attention. I'm out with my phone out. Nobody's looking. Nobody cares. I just had dinner at this restaurant. The best time, best vibes, ate by myself. Nobody questioned me. Literally, I could do a cartwheel right now and nobody would even like, flinch. Also, I decided to attend a second event that I had no intentions of attending, but now I'm gonna attend because why not? I think okay, Bloomingdale's is this way. I think I'm gonna hit up Zara. Yeah, I feel like I'll have better luck at Zara to pick an outfit. Yeah, we're gonna hit up Zara and find an outfit for this next event, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. No luck at Zara, so I ended up strolling down to Aritzia. Can I just say, walking through the city while the sun is setting is absolutely beautiful. be like so tight and short so we're gonna put this on and then i have like 15 minutes to get to the next event Smashbox event. This was the outfit I ended up going with. I went with a leather skirt in a larger size and I picked up this jacket by Wilfred from Ruzia.
Alex and I are still sleeping on a mattress in the middle of our living room just cause. Literally yesterday was so cool. I could not have asked for like a better day. Everybody I met was so sweet. Both events went really good. I will say that second event, you guys probably saw clips of the Smashbox one. It was not what I was expecting. Only at makeup events you can like mingle and get around, but this was like a straight up club. I went in there, I got like shade match for the foundation. They had like photographers doing like a little photo shoot, did that and then left. But I ended up meeting like such a sweet girl there and just hung out with her the whole time. To most of these events, I never bring plus one. So it's just like me just diving in, just like hoping to meet somebody. Sometimes I click with people. Sometimes I'm just kind of vibing with myself, but always open to conversation. But luckily with, like I said, both of these events, everybody was so friendly. It was also really cool to meet influencers that like I've either followed on YouTube or on TikTok. There was also this one girl, I kept staring at her the whole time. This was at the JLo event and I was like, where do I know her from? Like, where do I follow her? It didn't click until I was like driving home. I was like, oh my gosh, she's in that one Netflix show, Too Hot to Handle. And then I also met another, like one of my favorite people from The Circle on Netflix, Sammy. She even drove me to my car. Like she was just such a sweet, beautiful human being. And it was just like so cool to like, again, meet people that I followed and then them just like be just as amazing in person. And honestly, you know, like, People edit their photos and stuff so much on social media and use like Facetune a bunch. I will say that everybody that I've met in person is like 10 times more beautiful than they are on camera. Like, it's just, it's crazy. And it's also just inspired me so much today. Like now I just wanna like create content and like not be scared. I feel like a lot of times like when there's people you know on social media, it makes you more like hesitant to post certain things, but now I'm just gonna like start whipping out content that I wanna create and see. And yeah, it was just amazing. It was truly such a fun day. Ooh, and last thing, let me show you guys the JLo fragrance. It smells so good. It reminds me a lot of La Labo Santal. It's just like different, it's alluring. This is what the box looks like. It was funny because um, a lot of the girls there thought that JLo was coming because they kept emphasizing how intimate is there an eye booger? Uh, because when they were sending the invites for the event, they kept mentioning how intimate of an event it was and no plus ones were allowed. So, so many people like assumed that she was gonna be there. I knew that she wasn't gonna be there because I feel like, why would she be there? <laughs> but um, this one girl came with the most stunning, the most stunning gown. I wouldn't say gown, but it was like a dress, crossover to a gown, florals and everything. And she was like, I said that if I met JLo, I was gonna meet her in the most beautiful dress and it was the most beautiful dress this is what the bottle looks like i love the colors that she picked that smells so good it's like lalabo santel mixed with like something a little bit more like fruity and sweet this smells beautiful I can't take myself serious with this horrendous bun. Thank you, JLo Fragrances, for having me. I had such a blast. The lunch and everything was so beautiful. The staff working there was so sweet. And thank you, Smashbox, for having me. They sent me their always-on skin balancing foundation with hyaluronic acid. What it looks like. They had a lady shade matching, and I just felt so bad for the people working there because it was so packed, and like you could tell they're just trying to do their job. It's in the shade M10W. I love life and I praise God for blessing me with these opportunities and blessings. I hear I can't. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.